what's up you guys it's Ruthie and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna go in chapter 108 of wonder by RJ Palacio so let's get right into this video this video may contain sensitive topics and foul language if you do not wish to continue I suggest you click off the video now you have been warned voices in the dark chapter 108 <clears throat> finally after what seemed like forever of running someone yelled I think we lost him Amos I'm right here said Amos's voice a few feet behind us we can stop, Miles yelled from farther up. Jack, I yelled. Whoa, said Jack, I'm here. I can't see a thing. Are you sure we lost him? Henry asked, letting go of my arm. That's when I realized that he'd been the one who was pulling me as we ran. Yeah, shh, let's listen. We all got super quiet listening for footsteps in the dark. All we could hear were the crickets and frogs and our own crazy panting. We were out of breath, stomachs hurting, bodies bent over our knees. We lost them, said Henry. Whoa, that was intense. What happened to the flashlight? I dropped it. How'd you guys know, said Jack. We saw them before. They looked like jerks. You just rammed into him, I said to Amos. I know, right? laughed Amos. He didn't even see it coming, said Miles. He was like, are you a freak too? And you were like, bam, said Jack. Bam, said Amos. Amos throwing a fake punch in the air. But after I tackled him, I was like, run, Amos, you schmuck. He's ten times bigger than you. And I got up and started running as fast as I could. We all started laughing. I grabbed Augie and I was like run said henry i didn't even know it was you pulling me i answered that was wild said amos shaking his head totally wild your lip is bleeding dude i got in a couple of good punches answered amos wiping his lip i think they were seventh graders they were huge losers henry shouted really really loudly but all we, we but we were all shushed him we listened for a second to make sure no one had heard him where the heck are we said amos i can't even see the screen i think we're in the cornfields answered henry duh we're in the cornfield said miles pushing a corn stalk at henry okay i know exactly where we are said amos we have to go back in this direction that'll take us to the other side of the field yo dude said jack hand high in the air that was really cool of you guys to come back for us really cool thanks no problem answered amos high-fiving jack and the miles and henry high-fived them too yeah dudes thanks i said holding my palm up like Jack just had, though I wasn't sure if they'd high-five me too. Amos looked at me and nodded. It was cool how you stood your ground, little dude, he said, high-fiving me. Yeah, Augie, said Miles, high-fiving me too. You were like, we're littler than you guys. I didn't know what else to say. I laughed. Very cool, said Henry, and he high-fived me too. Sorry, I ripped your sweatshirt. I looked down at my sweatshirt. It was completely torn down the middle. One sleeve was ripped off and the other was so stretched out it was hanging down to my knees hey your elbow's bleeding said jack yeah i shrugged it was starting to hurt a lot you okay said jack seeing my face i nodded suddenly i felt like crying and i was trying really hard not to do that wait your hearing aids are gone said jack what i yelled touching my ears the hearing aid band was definitely gone that's why i felt like i was underwater oh no i said and that's when i couldn't hold it in anymore everything that just had happened kind of hit me and i couldn't help it I started to cry like big crying what mom would call the waterworks i was so embarrassed i hid my face in my arm but i couldn't stop the tears from coming the guys were really nice to me though they patted me on the back you okay dude it's okay they said you're one brave little dude you know that said amos putting his arm around my shoulders and when i kept on crying he put both of his arms around me like my dad would have done and let me cry that is the end of this video i will see you guys in the next one bye